Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In this video we're gonna talk about pictures. Everything you need to know on how to use them and manipulate them to do a lot of cool stuff inside your RPGs. So let's get started. Alright, so to show a picture really all you have to do is go inside your event editor under contents and on the second tab at the bottom left corner you will have the section for pictures. Now there's a couple options over here which we're all gonna review today inside this video. The first one really is the show picture because you cannot do anything else on the picture unless you show it on the screen. That makes sense, right? So from here you have a lot of options. The first one is the number which also represents the height of the picture. Now there's really two things you need to always remember about this is that two pictures can never have the exact same number. One will always override the other. So that means that if you have two different pictures you want to show on the screen, you need to make sure that those two pictures have a different number. Also always keep in mind that the number with the lowest value is always going to have priority over the harder pictures. That means that this pictures is always going to appear on top of the others. All right. Now the image is pretty self-explanatory. That is the picture that you wish to show. For today's video, we're just going to take a nice image of Reed. Now for the position, a lot of people are clueless as to what the origin is. So let me explain to you briefly what it does. The origin is actually the anchor of your picture. This is from where RPG Maker will pick up the picture whenever you try to manipulate it. Now there's two options. It can either be from the upper left corner of the picture or the direct center of the picture. So what I'm gonna do here is that we're gonna just click on OK and I want to show you the difference because it's important that you understand this concept. So we're just gonna run parallel this event which is gonna show an image of read on the screen and we're gonna launch the game. Now this is what happens when the origin is the upper left corner. Like you might not see it, but the image stops right here at the very top left corner of the screen right there. And it adds up all over down the way here. But if I were to change the origin to middle or center, yeah, to center, then what you will see is that the image itself will move, but the position will still remain like the zero position, but it takes the center of the image as the anchor, as the point of reference as to what this particular pixel on the image needs to be shown based on the position provided. So now since we've selected the origin as the center, then the center is on position 0, 0, not the upper left corner. So that's really what the origin do. All right, moving on to the other configurations. Of course, we have the designation uh, of where we want the picture to appear. Now keep in mind that this is based on pixels and not on the map screens. That means that a 250 by 250 direct designation is not going to show the picture on the case 250, 250, but rather on the pixel on the screen 250, 250, which should be somewhat around here. So let's try it out. Not too mistaken. There we go. So as you can see, even if the position is 250, 250, we're talking here about pixels and not the map cases. So it's always important that you keep that in mind as well. Now you can always designate those values by using variables, of course, which is a good thing. You can also use the scale to modify the width and the height of the image if you want it smaller, if you want it bigger. And of course you have the blend which will modify the opacity as well as offering you the multiple blend modes that you have for every other events inside the game. Okay, moving on on how to move a picture now. Now, since we have our events which is running in a parallel uh, trigger, that means that we will need to create a new page for moving the picture. Because if I was to move the picture directly right over here, what would happen is absolutely nothing because every single second the picture will re be replaced at the exact initiate parameters right over here so that will cancel out the move picture that we're trying to do right over there so if you have the show picture and directly the move picture inside the same event make sure that it's not an event that is looping otherwise you're gonna see that no effect is gonna take place 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy paste this event. So I'm gonna create a self switch, which I'm gonna activate on the first page once the picture has been initiated. And we should be good from there. All right, so I wanna move a picture now. As you can see, there's also a couple of configurations here. You need to first specify what's the number of the picture you wish to move. In our case, it's gonna be the number one. Now you have the easing, which is basically the speed, how it's going to work exactly. You can have a slow start on the moves, you can have a slow hand or both, or you can also just simply go with content speed. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go with the slow start just to see how it goes. The origin will remain the center of our image. The direct designation, I'm going to pick 500 by 500. Now the scale is also going to move with the picture if I want, if I was to modify it. So to give you a good example how it works, Let's go with a width of 25% and the height of 25% as well, so that her image will become smaller and smaller as it moves. Now the duration is all, is basically how long does it take for the movement to complete. In our case, let's go with 3 seconds, and we're not going to wait for the completion. Alright, let's test this and see how it goes. So we're going to initiate, activate the self switch, and the picture will move. Wow, that is so slow. <laughs> okay, that is like ridiculous. What is going on here? Uh, I believe, okay, the slow start is just crazy. Let's go for constant speed. Right, because apparently it's just crazy slow. Or is it because, yeah, there we go. So the slow start really is slow. Okay, <laughs> was not expecting that one. But as you can see, the picture moved to the position 500 pixel by 500 pixel on the screen, while it also changed the width, or more like the scaling of the image as it goes. All right, moving on to the next possible options is to smash that like button at the bottom of the video for the YouTube algorithm. Super appreciated, super like it. But seriously though, the next option is gonna be the rotate picture. I must admit, here I was a little disappointed with RPG Maker MZ. I would have loved something similar to the move picture that we had over here, so we could have like rotate to a specific position, the picture and whatnot, but it seems like this is something that somebody's gonna have to do with plugins, which I will most likely do, that means. Oh well. Okay, so, but at least RPG Maker allows us to rotate the picture Kind of. And when I say kind of, is that the only option we have is a rotation speed, which, if you understood properly, that means that it's just gonna keep rotating. And that's all bad. Well, there's nothing really that like allows you to easily specify, okay, this is exactly the position I want, but it's more like for circular images, like for loading screen and stuff, if you would like to make them rotate so that it feels like the, the screen is directly loading and stuff, like I guess that can be useful, but Right now, from here, from the dead go, I don't see a lot of usefulness behind this. So I'm just going to give you a quick example on what it can do. But honestly, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to wait somebody to create a plugin or create it ourselves so that we can have great configuration on how to rotate image inside our printing maker MC. So let's create a new game. And as you'll see, Whee! okay, no, seriously, the character is just rotating and keeps rotating nonstop forever and light. Mm. I guess it's nice, but no, nah, it's not nice. It's just trash. All right, so moving on to the fourth option of the day, which is thin picture. Now I'm not gonna talk too much about it. It's very simple. It changes the color of the picture, and it can take a certain time to do so, like move, like the movement. So if I was to take the exact same um, duration as we did for the move, which is three seconds, wait for completion, and let's turn our character. I don't know, blue. Entire. Oh well. I kinda, yeah, let's go with this one. Okay. And that's just going to change the color of the picture. It's that simple, really. Over three seconds. And then it's going to stay that way. There we go. So it's that simple, really. And last but not least, we have the erase picture, which, as you probably already guessed it, it's going to remove the picture entirely. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to wait for five seconds. So 300 frames before erasing it. So basically, we're going to initiate the picture, it's going to move, and then it's going to delete from the screen. And then it's going to move again, because we're in a parallel process. But anyway, let's see how it goes. So it moves, and then... There we go, it deleted. 
And now, since we're in barrel process, it tried to keep moving, but it keeps to try moving a picture which does not exist anymore. So, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Alright, so that's it for today's video on pictures, how to create, move, manipulate, and delete them. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever, and I'll see you later for a new video. Bye! Goodbye. Okay,